How's it going, everyone? This is going to be my um, first episode of my Fallout 3 permadeath 100% very hard slash hardcore playthrough. Um, this first episode is going to serve as essentially my best slash most powerful build, in my opinion. Um, now, there are other ways to play that are, I guess, like, you, you could do a retention build around uh, empty books and uh, you'd have to make them into the police stories book that gives you a bonus crit chance, but you would have to take one of those before each battle, and that doesn't really interest me, and you'd have to take like two to three perks, uh, and that's a lot of investment in this game, uh, because contrary to Fallout 3, you get a perk every other level, so yeah, so um, this first sequence, I'm just going to let play out, it's going to be the... Um, the intro essentially so if you don't want to watch that you can uh, skip ahead to when I'm uh, actually creating the character and I'm also going to show you how to uh, create the strongest char character early on in the game as well uh, and I'll cut through some of the stuff but I'll also show you the safest path to New Vegas or quickest path I should say the safest path would be the long way but anyways um, I hope you all enjoy the video and without further ado let's uh, click new game Pretty cool opening sequence, if you ask me. That's not really, like, the NCR doesn't really, like, put a guy up in the crow's nest, though, in the game, so. Yeah. And, uh... A remake of this game would be sick. This is also my favorite game of all time. I usually would shut up during these, but nobody's saying anything yet, so. But now they're gonna say stuff. The old courier. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. Go on, Ron Perlman. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. 
got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? This guy's got crazy eyes. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? Made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18 carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. All right, and with that, we can get underway. <clears throat> And if you've never seen this game before, this is my favorite game of all time, uh, number one. I've played many a game, and this one reigns supreme over all of them. Uh, so like I said, this is going to be a permadeath 100% uh, run on the hardest difficulty, um, which is very hard, plus hardcore, which is um, basically survival mode for this game. Um, okay, I was curious if this was actually going to add... Interesting. Okay, because I couldn't get it to download on the Xbox One. I'm playing on the Xbox One, but I have the uh, Game of the Year edition. Or Ultimate Edition, or whatever it's called. Oh, easy there. Easy. You've been out cold and y'all let me know how the audio settings are. Why don't you just relax a second? If my Over voice here. is too loud, if uh, the game's too loud. Is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Okay, I don't know how many characters they're going to allow me, but, uh, yeah, let's do this. Now, obviously, I could have skipped that uh, first part, but like I said, this is uh, going to be episode, like, one or episode zero, really, of, um, and I'll name it after my channel. My name's James, but... I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. And if y'all are new to the channel, welcome. Um, I do. If y'all enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, because uh, obviously I'm a pretty small channel. We've actually been growing after our Fallout 4 playthrough. We grew quite substantially. Um, so that was a good time. So I'm hoping that this one will also um, help us out with that. Um, but I'm not doing all this to, to, uh, to gain notoriety or any of that. I'm doing it really just because <clears throat> I think it's a fun game. It's my favorite game, like I said. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Facial hair, uh, and I'll do the survivalist. That's what I like the best. I'm not one of those guys that really like puts like a yeah, crazy character together. Anyway, stuff that matters. Okay, no sense keeping. You and now we'll be able to um, to get to the actual uh, meat and potatoes of the build. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there? Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Now, my advice, my first bit of advice is uh, take all the stuff that doesn't weigh anything or my, my general rule of thumb, especially in, um, in this game as well as... Okay, so we need 25 repair for that. Uh, in this game as well as Fallout 3 is a 1 to 10 uh, weight to... Uh, so that, right there. Weight... Uh, WG is weight, val is t uh, value. So a 1 to 10 ratio is a pretty good rule of thumb. I actually got that from another YouTuber probably a decade ago. I don't. I wish I could give credit, but I simply don't remember who it was. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of this stuff will have a good ratio. But anyways, I'll get right to it. Okay, so this is going to be where I begin the build. Um, as soon as they let me. Okay, so this gives a breakdown pretty much of what exactly is going on. So strength will tell you how easily a cowboy totes his saddle and those bigger firearms or how much uh, help he's going to be 
for you in a saloon brawl. So it's melee, unarmed, inventory weight, damage, damage, weapon effectiveness. Yeah, I, don't, I think damage is really with melee weapons. Um, and I'm going to set that to five. So all of these can be boosted up by one point. There's no bobbleheads in this game, but you can get implants from um, Dr. Oh my gosh, I can't remember her name. It's um, something, something unique. I'll just say that. So we'll set that to five, that to five. Most of the perks in this game uh, are for, uh, or most of the special stats are for perk requir require, uh, requirements in this game. So that's why I'm setting these so specifically. There's other ways to boost them as well, especially strength. So uh, a perceptive cowboy always knows when there's a lit stick of dynamite nearby or when a varmint's sneaking up on him. Explosives, lockpick, energy weapons, accuracy, compass, range. Some of the best perks in the game uh, reside from the perception uh, tree. Otherwise, it would just be a glorified um, charisma. I mean, a lot of these would. Strength and endurance wouldn't because endurance is health. Um, strength, it, its big thing is carry weight. You can't keep a good cowboy down if he's the endurance type and not if he's got a six shooter the size of all tarnation. Um, and we're actually going to set that to nine. Since this is a permadeath run, we're going to try and not die. So yeah, Charisma, you'll find there are some smooth talking cowboys out there that got themselves a voice sounds like an angel's harmonica, barter speech companion nerd. Uh, one of my, my only rule I have right now pretty much is no companions and I have to complete every single mission to make it 100%. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm gonna get like every single uh, uh, skill book. I, I'm not gonna do that because it's not necessary in this game. Um, not, all, not all skills are uh, necessary to b a boost up. Uh, smart cowboy is good at most anything, from sucking the poison out of your rattler bite to fixing your broken wagon axle. Science, repair, medicine, and skill points. Okay, this is a, a really important one, but I'm actually going to set it to four just for skill requirements because we'll be able to get done everything we want to get done uh, eventually. And yeah, there's a lot of books. I know there's not that, as many books as Fallout 3 around, but it's not as important as uh, a lot of people say. I used to always set it to nine and then get to ten, but that's just not how it needs to be. Especially for this hard of a run. When a fellow's in a gunfight and shoots the other guy six times before they can get off a shot, it's because that fella is agile. Uh, this resides over gun sneak speed action point regeneration. And we're going to set that to eight. Um, this is killer. It's really for vats and um, vats and action point re regeneration. So, um, yeah, that's why we're doing that. And I don't know if it's true or if it affects speed. That's interesting if it does. And then this will be set to eight. Some folks claim not to believe in luck, but when they lose in a duel, you'll hear them say, that lucky son of a gun. All skills, critical hits, enemy mishaps. I used to set this to one. Critical hits are the, is the most important thing in the game for combat. So um, so that's our build. It's going to be 5591488. And that'll be um, in the description. I'll have a full breakdown in the description. So... Yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. But it's worth watching the video because I'm going to have um, tips along the way that you probably uh, don't know. So pre-war books are here. Um, if this was Fallout 3, that would be amazing, but it's not. So it's not great. <laughs> and ammo in hardcore mode will actually weigh something, but uh, that's not a big deal to us because it doesn't weigh anything yet. And it really doesn't weigh a lot anyways. Uh, Buffalo Gourd Seeds are actually good for anti-venom, I think. Now, it's been like a year since I played this game, so y'all bear with me now. Okay. And I'm just going to loot through this place. And like I said, it's it's worth watching, uh, especially because uh, what I'm about to do here in a second. I could grab, grab the Abraxo as well. It's one, it's one weight, five... Uh, five um, What's the word I'm looking for? Value. But uh, anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and sit down. Let's uh, talk to old Doc Mitchell. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say. Okay, so all this doesn't actually matter. He just, you know, says stuff and then you just click it. All, you, all it is is for tag skills and then uh, traits as well. So traits are really cool. Traits, this is the first, um, I guess free roam game they brought uh, traits into. So the tag skills for this are actually really important. You're gonna wanna want to tag um, repair, survival, and barter. 
Okay, and that is for our early game perks we're going to be going after. Before Very important. Lose, I need one more thing from you. And these um, got a form for you to fill out. And these traits that I'm going for, you can get regardless of whether you have uh, the DLC. I think skilled. I think skilled um, is available either way. So, um, so my my traits are going to be built to destroy. This is the best, arguably the best game. So um, these are, a lot of these are from DLC, but skilled gives uh, plus five points to every skill, but you suffer minus ten uh, from experience gain from now on. That's good because it slows the game down, and there is a level cap, unlike Fallout Four. So um, that's a three percent chance to critically hit. That's like three extra luck, um, and your weapons or your equipment con condition decays fifteen percent faster. That's really not that bad if you ask me all right i guess that about does it it's not bad at all <clears throat> and that is a lot of uh that is a lot of crit chance by the way 3% seems low but once you stack all the crit chance you can run through people and be very careful when you're leaving this door because this is where you choose hardcore or not and if you click no you you'll just have to restart the whole intro um, so yeah be careful not to do Here, that these are yours was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind. 18 bottle caps. I just thought it might help me find the next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip. And that is for like vats and inventory for everything. The war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been It's the through. greatest gift somebody could give you. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. All right, thanks, Doc. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up, but try not to get killed anymore. Okay, so this is hardcore mode. Uh, New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that uh, greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Radaway removes radiation over time. Uh, ammunition has weight and dehydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. You may turn hardcore mo mode off or o on or off at any time in the gameplay menu, but if you activate hardcore mode now and maintain it through the end of the main storyline, you will receive a special reward. Would you like to activate it? Yes. So now we activated it, and I actually think, I gotta, I gotta look it up. Doctor's bags can be created as well. Um, it's been like a year or more since I've played the game. Um, so bear with me if I forget a couple things. I'm really not going to forget like anything that important. Um, especially not for what uh, what we're going for. for. Okay, and this is all just DLC loading in. Um, and it'll say when it thinks you should go for it. If you were to go to... I don't even know if you can go to Lonesome Road. I don't think you can. But uh, you would get absolutely mauled at like any of those, pretty much. So hold your horses if you're thinking about going to uh, any of that quite yet. And I'll show off uh, a little bit of that. So this is all DLC stuff. Um, I wouldn't worry about it if you didn't get it. This is great, uh, great armor right here, the lightweight leather armor. Um, yeah, and this is what our character looks like. I might as well throw on that. And oh, I guess we didn't grab the uh, glasses, but that's all right. Um, so first things first is you want to head up to the cemetery. And this is all important to watch, just by the way, um, because this is going to assist you in becoming the most powerful character you can be uh, early on. And I wouldn't skip through any of this uh, part until we get to New Vegas, um, because, yeah, it's super important, like I said. And it'll really help you with just being a god of war. All right, so snow globes. You found a limited edition Mojave landmark snow, snow globe. These rare pre-war pre artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Very true. Okay, so 
if you go to Mr. House's robot, I think her name is Jane, she'll pay you for those. Um, there's one here where I just showed you, obviously. And then there is also one um, in Mr. House's tower uh, in the bartender area. So actually, when this says this, uh, when this says this, you want to click re, uh, rebuild character. <clears throat> and then you're going to respec him. Okay, so pretty much we're going to do the same thing. None of this is important. It's really just with the traits that's important. Um, so yeah. So this is what it was. So 5591488. Five, eight. And there you go. And then same same tag skills, rate repair, survival, barter. Um, and then you want to do built to uh, built to destroy and fast shot this time. So fast shot will, uh, while using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly, but your shots are 20% less accurate. Now that sounds bad, but actually it's really good because um, it affects all weapons, automatic and not. And if you're in VATS, um, you're going to be super accurate anyways. Um, and in this game, I would play it like um, like a first-person shooter, kind of like I play Fallout 4. But it's just such a, it's such a clunkier game that it's really not worth it, um, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's is just a lot better. I wouldn't say it's not playable. Like, it's... It's definitely doable to uh, to play that way, but it's a, you're in a lot better uh, shape, a lot better hands if you just don't do that. Okay, we're gonna want that, and we got a little bit of ammo. Ammo is the best way to get money in the game. And I think that's about it. Yeah, a little bit of steady. Drugs don't weigh anything still, so drugs are super good. What was that? Dog you treat. That's got to be a rare item. Now you're gonna want to avoid. Um, getting any experience because you don't want to level up before you hit uh, a higher intelligence reason being is you'll get less skill points and since we have a low um, intelligence anyways um, yeah we want to make the most out of our character for sure and like i said not we're not going to use every single um, skill so like that's not super paramount but it's important enough to pay attention to so this is the path to New Vegas. You're gonna to wanna to be careful because rad scorpions can spawn here and they'll kill you pretty quickly and easily. Uh, yeah, so there's one. <clears throat> um, the thing is, is you can actually avoid them pretty, pretty easily. Um, so yeah, and then over to the left is the most dangerous enemy in the game. Uh, and it's a lot of them, death claws. But you can't get in there unless you go straight through Quarry Junction. So it's pretty easy to avoid going in there, but there are um, there are a bunch of them surrounding um, the area. So yeah, just be careful. But uh, you should be okay. Okay. So you want to go into the mining office uh, first. Nobody's going to be in here. But is it in here? No, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is in here, but anyways, it says caution, but we're completely fine. We should be. If we're not, we can just run. You'll lose karma, but like that's fine. We're not. I'm not too worried about that. And if you're ever running um, a little low on carry weight, see if you have any sunset sarsaparilla because you always want to drink that. I think we need that. Anyways, you always want to drink that because um, you'll... Okay, let's see if we can avoid talking to this guy. Hold up. There are death claws all over Yeah, so he'll warn you that there's death claws. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. Okay, see you later. So yeah, I'll show you the, the safest path to New Vegas. New Vegas is... Dead ahead that way, straight through here. But there are death claws gal galore around there. Um, so basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here. And this is Black Mountain. This is Super Mutants galore. You got all sorts of really dangerous enemies. Oh, I need to make sure. See what the game plays at. Okay, it's already on very hard. Excellent. So we're already on very hard. And there's always a baby death claw by the crane over there. 
and then there's one, two, three. There's a bunch of death claws over there. Um, hopefully, I can remember the path all right. And then there's gonna be some red dots usually over there, but those are not gonna be death claws. Those are bark scorpions, so you'll be okay. Um, I think we might need scrap metal. I can't remember exactly. I'll look. I'll look all of it up and be sure to have it in the description so y'all don't need to worry too hard about it. Um, but anyways, we're gonna just run straight for here. If you avoid this, if you if you go left a little bit, you'll be able to avoid getting the experience from Black Mountain. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. A little bit of experience, you'll, you'll be fine. So let's see. You just kind of want to look for a little bit of space like that where you can just spam Y, which is on console, it's Y, and uh, just kind of jump on through. So then you're going to hug this area, and a, a little bit, you might want to uh, actually sneak for a little bit of this, because... There, there will be death claws and they'll chase you. I mean, you'll be up here, but they'll just complete, completely keep chasing you. They don't really care at all. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I, I like to sneak a little bit. Makes it a wee bit safer, and you never really know where they're gonna spawn. Oh, shit stick. Yeah. So they'll they'll also stop chasing you eventually like once you get outside of the kill kill range or whatever it's called oh shit but uh we're not there quite yet okay we were hidden for a second there okay they're still over there we're in caution but they don't see us you're gonna want to go for that building over there just by the way. And there's not really going to be death calls over here. So if you can get over here, you're good. I think we're pretty safe. Famous last words, but I'm not going to lie. I'm a little on edge. So staying up here is a good bet, though. <clears throat> because death claws can't climb. At least not in this game. Maybe in the future they'll be able to. But uh, not quite. Not quite yet. So I'm going to try and make a break for it now. Once the intimidating music starts, that's when you're probably dead. Uh, because no matter what you do, you're going to die to those death claws level one. I don't care what you have. You, I mean, unless you... Okay, I think we're good. Unless you stumble upon a fat man somehow, you're probably greased. I don't see him. So yeah, uh, sometimes you will never even be in caution. Sometimes you'll go all the way to danger. That's when it gets a little fishy. Okay, those are fire ants. Um, there's going to be a location over here. And you can avoid it. It's a, I think it's the caravan. But uh, hopefully we don't aggro them. And there are also there's also a chance to uh, see some tribals. I can't remember what they're called. But over here, so... Best to try and avoid all that. I think if we if you go around the left side of the building, you, you won't trigger that uh, location. But uh, that's for a future quest, I believe. Okay, so we're good. So you can either go left or right. I'm just gonna go right because I think I think I literally think it's on the opposite side right there. So I don't think it really matters. To the left, I know there's more tribals, um, and these guys are good. Don't shoot at them. I don't even think I've equipped a weapon quite yet, so. We should be good. So my advice actually is to get the location for uh, for this area because you can fast travel in like Fallout 4's um, survival mode. And yeah, and then you can fast travel back and we can I can show you exactly what to what to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unlock all the locations I want to find. Um, before we go into the strip because it's a lot it's a lot uh, harder to get into the strip than it is to get out fast travel wise so yeah and the only way to speed up unless it's true that agility makes you run faster is uh, travel light which boosts your speed by 10% I think um, now that's like not obviously a um, 
like a huge difference, but w when you get it, you actually run, it seems like a lot quicker. So if I were you, I would think about it because it's actually not that bad. Um, and then since our intelligence is so low, I doubt you'll, you'll probably hit a level up when you go to the casinos, which is exactly what we're about to do. Um, and I'm not going to keep the casino stuff in there, but you want to make sure you at least get that, that extra point of intelligence, like I said, because it'll give you a couple points more. It'll, it'll end up meaning a pretty significant deal eventually. All right. So this is the front of it. Um, pretty much equidistant from, I I guess actually technically the other way might be faster. I don't know, it's kind of tough to know. And now you're gonna to want to do exactly what I do. Uh, you can go around the long way and miss the sharecropper farm, but that's not really, that's not really necessary. Uh, definitely not necessary. So yeah, um, I'm gonna just run on through here and I'm gonna get a couple locations. Some aren't as necessary as others, but I'm actually skeptical whether or not I need to get the gun runners. Um, I don't really need it, no, but I kind of want to get it. So also another thing to take into account, so we're gonna go to, I think, it, is it Uganaki? Dr. Uganaki, something like that. Anywho, um, the amount of implants you can put on your character is dependent on your endurance skill. Um, I forgot to say that when we were building our character, so it's actually a really important um, thing to keep keep tabs on. Okay. So this is Gunrunners, the best sales uh, area in the game. Uh, really, really good. We're gonna be, also, I forgot to say, we're gonna only be using light armor in this. The reason for that is that, in my opinion, it's the best uh, armor in the game due to the crit bonus you get from uh, certain types of the armor and some perks that come along with it. Um, obviously, it has like the worst defensive rating in the game, but it's, like I said, in my opinion, uh, hands down the best armor in the game, best variant of armor. I think it's over here, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to want to head to this third bridge over here. And let's see how close we are to leveling up. I bet we're not very close. This is going to be another location. Um, and you're going to want to look for these ash piles. There's going to be a, probably like a little bit of good stuff on them. Um, I might miss a couple. It's not like the end of the world if you miss a few but it'll help get you a little bit of money for coming up. Because we're about to spend, spend, spend. Yeah. So this is $25 for $2,649. Uh, two, 25 weight, what am I saying? Um, so it's actually pretty good. And I'll grab that as well. Just because this doctor's bag, really good drop. Doctor's bags are always very good. Always. Uh, leather armor will actually be really good for uh, repairing our armor because unlike Fallout 4 in this game, um, oops, we might have to drop some stuff already. Um, unlike Fallout 4, uh, stuff has condition stuff, I mean uh, armor. So you're going to want to make sure that you're on top of that. You don't want to repair these two armors together because it'll um, end up actually costing you a lot of money. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Um, let's see if we have anything that boosts strength. Yeah, we have some buff out. So why don't I take that? And then that won't last us a while. That'll allow us to fast travel um, after we find the um, New Vegas Clinic. And the New Vegas Clinic is one of these buildings over here. It's over by the Crimson Caravan. Actually, it might be that building right there. Or it's that one. 
One of the two. I'll be able to identify it at least. It'll say it above the door too. Itch my ear real quick. Yeah, I think it's farther back. Nope, there it is. All right, so this is the New Vegas Clinic. You're just going to want to find this real quick. Um, it's going to be a lot of caps in order to actually do or get a get a uh, implant. So you're not quite going to want to um, you're not quite going to want to go in there yet. We don't we won't have enough money. Uh, the reason I'm going to the gun runners is I'm going to sell some stuff off to them real quick and stuff. Welcome, I mean. Sir, or ma um, I am going to sell our armor. Okay, so let's. Okay, let's see what kind of ammo they have. Uh, so you'll see there's different kinds of ammo 308 armor piercing. Um, so armor piercing is obviously for uh, enemies that have armor, hollow point is for enemies that don't have any armor. Um, so yeah, you're gonna have different kinds of stuff. Um, and yeah, let's see if there's anything worth grabbing. I doubt it. I genuinely doubt it. Actually, if they have laser rifle upgrades, those are always worth it. Uh, nope, not that one though. The beam splitter is not the good one. So generally I wouldn't do what I'm about to do. But I'm going to accept that and just take the money and run. Uh, because they really don't have anything. I don't know what kind of gun I'm going to start with. So I'm just going to take the hit. Because now we're under um, the, the carry weight threshold that we're wanting to get to. So no big deal. Okay, so you come to Camp, Camp McCarran because there's actually a secret way to get into New Vegas. Generally, you would have to either have a actual pass or a fake pass which you can get at milk and ralph's um but this is the easiest way to get onto the strip in the game it's also i guess the second most dangerous behind the most dangerous would be if you were to go straight through and try and go through the robots they'd kill you uh, i'm pretty sure I'll, i don't even know if i've tried it before but they would pretty much all aggro on you um immediately So throughout the game, you'll hear about this train that the that the NCR has, and you're gonna want to make sure you go straight to the train. Which I actually didn't know the train was a thing until very recently. So you're gonna want to go up these stairs and to the left. Um, sometimes there's guards there, and sometimes there's not. I don't know what the deal is with that. Let's see if we got guards. I think it's the time of day. Okay, so there are they are here right now. Okay, so they aggroed on us, and what we're going to want to do is cheese it into this uh, into this train. They won't ag they won't fall you through the train. Okay, perfect. They won't. They I don't think they fall you through the train, but uh, we we are definitely definitely don't want to die. And these are also NCR, but like I said, they won't attack you. I don't think you can take this either. Yeah, no, you can't. Oops. Sometimes when you jump, you just jump straight up and you won't be able to move like you'd like to. I bet it feels real nice to be carrying those weapons around on the strip. That damn Mr. House has forbid any NCR military personnel from carrying any sort of firearms on the strip. Well, except for Captain Pappas. Mr. House still doesn't trust the NCR. A word of advice. The Securitrons won't put up with any funny stuff out there, so don't do anything stupid. Uh, yes it is. Okay, so anyways, that, that guy's just going to be pissed off. Um, you don't have to listen to him. Okay, so our buff out wore, wore off. Um, you can get addicted to drugs, and that is a risk. All you have to do is go to a doctor, so you're just fast. I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do. I don't really use drugs often. All the drugs are very powerful. Howdy, partner. So we actually haven't even met him yet. Welcome to New Vegas. Okay, who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. Yeah, since we haven't I'm met him, we can say, who are you? you up in the bone orchard outside Good Springs. I thought you'd gone up the flume, but that Doc Mitchell knows his trade. It's good to see you up and around, right as a trivet. Okay, where do I start? Anyways, I'm just going to keep on pushing. 
So the only uh, so you're gonna want to start gambling um, pretty quickly. So my advice would be to not go in there because that will disrupt. Um, it'll actually disrupt. It'll disrupt your campaign, it'll, the main story. You'll unlock it. You'll level up like to level four. Um, but the issue is is that it'll it'll kind of throw a wrench in like where you go. You'll have to wander through the Mojave. If you've never played the game, definitely don't do that. Thank your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Here you go. All right, so just give them your weapons and don't attack them or you'll die. So you're going to want to go to the three other, I think there's three, White Glove Society, Gamora. There might be two. Uh, am I missing one? I mean, besides the tops, but. Humbly at your service. Uh, I'd like to exchange ch uh, caps for chips. And then you can do this. And then I'll... I'll go through exactly. So you basically put black track, blackjack or twenty one, and you can <clears throat> you can get different amounts of money from each one, but they'll kick you out of the casino eventually. Um, so it's based on your luck. Um, so yeah, we'll press deal, and I'll, I'll, this is just to show you our current bet is one, um, and then you can hit. Okay, so now we're gonna stay. Okay, so you broke even. So basically what you're going to do is you see the Ultra Lux earnings. That shows how much you've earned at this casino. You want to get your chips. And once you max out your chips, you're going to want to go back and cash out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this out. Um, and it, if you have 8 luck, you should be pretty good. If you have 9 luck, you'll be great. And if you have 10 luck, you'll be killer. We'll have 9 luck. So what I would do if I were you is I would max out your cash here. Then I would go to the New Vegas clinic and get um, an intelligence implant, and I would get a luck implant. Then come back here, and you'll be good to go. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit, and I will be cutting this out. All right, so I've officially been banned from this casino. This will happen once you hit the max. I think for this one it's 15000 and the other one it's 10000 or something like that. I forgot to say, I forgot to give like a better breakdown. I'll give a better breakdown in a second um, of exactly how to do it so uh, an ace can count as one or eleven and then face cards are ten uh, everything else counts as what it is and whoever gets closest to 21 um, yeah anyways whoever um, gets closest to 21 wins so yeah that's a pretty basic uh, basic description of how exactly you, you play the game um, but yeah so as soon as you leave, they're going to give you all your stuff back as well. And I do um, understand that it takes a little bit longer than one would think um, to to get done with that, especially when you're at eight luck. Um, so that's why right now we just turned in our caps and now we're going to go boost up our, um, our luck and our intelligence. So, yeah. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. Dr. I'm Usanagi, a that's her name. And can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Okay, so like I said, I have several basic implants I'll just let her talk. that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that we're going to be taking both of those as damage. well. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Okay, I want to buy an implant. Okay, like she said, a second, I just skipped through it. The healthier you are, the more you can take. Um, so for us, we're really healthy, I guess, is how she uh, describes it. So yeah. So since our, and it's your base endurance, by the way. So our base endurance was nine, so... We can take as many as we want, basically. Uh, don't take the charisma one. If you don't take the charisma one, you can get all the other good ones. Um, can you make me luckier? If I implant the probability calculator in your frontal lobe, you'll be able to calculate odds a little better. It's not quite the same as making you luckier, but you'll be able to nudge things your way more often. I can do the implant for 4,000 cap. Okay, so she's gonna keep letting us do our, do our thing. Um, the only one that really 
you want to You're back. Um, get by a certain time, right. other than these two, is the perception one. You get well, you want to get that one. I oh wait, oops. You want to get that one before um, <clears throat> before level twelve uh, because that's when you get better criticals. Um, I think it's better criticals. Is it better criticals? Let me check. It's sniper. I'm sorry, but you'll need that for better uh, better criticals as well. Okay, how much? Okay, so we get we have enough money for one You're more. Back. Do you need medical attention? Unfortunately, too, you can't. Uh, let's see. Do I need anything else? Uh, boosted by a certain point. It doesn't seem so. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to boost up my endurance. Should I boost my endurance or strength? Um, I'm going to boost my strength because we can come back at any time. And I'm not really in a fear of dying early on. And actually, we'll be able to... We will be able to, um, oops. Okay, so you're gonna go, you can go to status and see your H2O and everything. Um, so we have uh, 136 and this does minus 94. So that gets us back down to a reasonable amount. Um, <clears throat> now I actually don't mind getting, um, getting more radiation um, because we are going to, uh, I'm actually going to save, uh, no, I won't actually. Um, yeah, I will. That's really all we need for now. So I'm going to travel back to Good Springs and from here, I'm going to show you, um, I guess more of exactly what you're going to want to do. Um, the only reason I didn't go back to the casino is because I don't know if, uh, the Camp McCarran guards will be aggroed on us. Uh, and I also don't know. Um, yeah, I d we didn't get the, the front gate for the, the strip. So I'm going to just avoid that. And for he from here, we're actually going to be doing um, some searching for books. Um, so I might as well actually go ahead and start doing this stuff. Oops. Um, I always put stim packs in this game down uh, one. And then I don't know if we have, I guess Sturdy Caravan Shotgun is a pretty good secondary weapon. So those will be our three weapons. And then if you... What the hell? Oh, I accidentally did... What the hell? I meant to do... This. For some reason we... <laughs> For some reason we equipped our... Um, clothes as the thing. What the hell? Okay, so when you do that, it glitches out. But... And then if you press, I think it's up, you'll actually get the ability to switch calibers of, uh, for your pistol. But we don't need that. And two-handed weapons actually make you run slower. So uh, be sure to not do that. So the first location we're going to be going to um, is we're going to be going up to Lone Wolf Radio Station. Okay, so it's not going to be too dangerous to get up there. Um, it is up here to the right. And it's not difficult to get up to. There aren't really that dangerous of enemies. The thing you want to look out for, though, is these little geckos. They can, they can gang up on you and kill you. But I'm not too too worried. And we're not. We're going actually up there. They kind of flee too. They tend to flee. So, yeah. And uh, and I'll show y'all can skip ahead um, because I'm actually going to show it on the map if y'all want to. Y'all don't have to watch all this. I'll show all the locations on the map that you're gonna that you're gonna want to get to. Um, so yeah. And like I said, I'm not gonna be using companions, but if you are using companions and you are looking to repair Eddie, you're gonna need some sensor modules. Um, so you can get a, you can get pretty much all the stuff you need from up here. Yeah, that's right here. So we're going for three wasteland survival guides is uh, essentially what we're going for. So for this first um, perk we're going to be getting, it's going to be Light Touch. And that's one of the best perks in the game. And you get it at level two. Um, so like I said earlier, you're not going to get a perk every single level. 
but you will get them every uh, every other level. So you're gonna like want to make sure you make them count. And that's why I made my character like I did. That's why I don't have concentrated fire on it, and I only have snipers because snipers pretty much good enough uh, for what you're gonna want to do. Um, and yeah, as you as you get up there, you're gonna be become more accurate as well. Okay, so I guess they are following you. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna go for the torso. Hopefully we can get a crit. Okay, so he's gonna flee. That's fine with me. We'll probably end up killing him a little bit later anyways. And you can die from fall damage, so if you're playing along with me, um, like this is a... Um, this is a... whatchamacallit. Oh shit, I didn't show where it is on the map, I'm sorry. Uh, so Lone Wolf Radio is right here. So you're going to go right to this little divot. It's right past Good Spring Source to Lone Wolf Radio, and you'll be good to go. The next place we're going to is actually unbelievably dangerous. So, and I'm not kidding at all. It's very dangerous. Um, we're going to be, we're, we're actually going to ha probably have to run from uh, the enemies we're going to be seeing. And actually here, I'm not looking for that. I think you can find a star bottle cap somewhere around here, perhaps. Okay, so that's a true police stories. Um, and keep an eye out for star bottle caps. That's really why you drink the Sunset Sarsaparilla is because there's uh, gonna be a quest that we're gonna be going for a little later on and you're, and you're gonna need those. So make sure that you get uh, repair up to 45. And then from, from here on, we're gonna be uh, dumping everything into survival, uh, trying to get up to level seven or 70 uh, for, for that. So yeah. And we're gonna go with light touch. Heavy armor just isn't your thing, so you've learned to customize light armor for maximum benefit. While wearing light armor, you gain a plus 5% critical hit chance and your enemies suffer a minus 25% critical hit chance. That's fantastic. All right, so we got, I believe, two sunset. Um, uh, we got two sun, uh, sunset sarsaparilla star caps there. So occasionally you can find them, I think, in garbage cans and stuff. Don't quote me on that, but you can find s all sorts of stuff. Um, now there's actually going to be ghouls here. Okay, we don't want to fight too many of them. Um, they're not going to do too much damage to us, but they can be a problem if we're not careful. Who is this? I actually don't know who this is. Prospector. That's nice. Silenced pistol. Yeah, that's not a good weapon. Huh. <laughs> Just keep shooting it. That's awesome. So where we're going is to an unmarked location, as far as I, I know, and it is up here. If it gets too dangerous, I'll just run away. Um, I also don't know which tent it's going to be in, which is <laughs> could serve to be a problem. We could find a stealth boy, which I'm trying to think of where a reliable place to find one is. I can't really think of one right now. But anyways, yeah, there's going to be ghouls around there. That's a random spawn, that prospector, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah. But we can at least get two skill books for, for certain that are in areas. The, the area we're going to is up there. I'm trying to avoid those ghouls because some of these ghouls will actually be too strong for us to fight right now. And we're actually going to unlock some... I should have unlocked Prim when I ran by, but um, I didn't. So, oh well. And you can get... Comprehension, comprehension, and educated if you uh, so choose to, and those will uh, comprehension will boost the amount of uh, boost you get from reading books, and educated will uh, increase the amount of perk points you get from um, each level up. So those are good. I ended up learning that they're not necessary though. Is the thing so? I wouldn't worry too hard about them. Okay, and there's going to be a lot of scorpions around here glitch actually into the terrain so don't worry too hard 
if you're, you know, seeing a bunch of them. The ones that we need to worry about are actually up here. I'm not certain we can actually handle this area right now. Um, so bear with me. Now, I don't actually remember which tent we're supposed to go into either. So that's that will be fun times. Fun times with me. I probably should have done my research before this, but live and learn. Are we in caution? We are. So they're still chasing us, technically, I think, but I'm not too, too worried. Uh, okay. Shit. Yeah. Okay. So we've got three giant scorpions here. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh, fuck me. I'm actually just gonna run away um, because I am quickly realizing that this is um, not the way to, uh, this is not where you wanna go. So if you do wanna go here and you're not playing permadeath, you can just go right here and um, that will be a fine enough location for you. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do, I think they have, they become uninterested in me. Hopefully, hopefully to God. I'm actually gonna go grab this location first off. Um, and then we can keep on keeping on from there. I might off screen go back up to uh, the casino and get all that done because it's not super interesting. Okay, so we got the Mojave Outpost and now um, Basically, we're just gonna make a straight shot for over there. Now, the problem we're gonna run into is there are potential, there is potential, especially at night. I think the night stalkers will come out. Um, night stalkers, I think that's what they're called. They're hybrids between uh, snakes, like rattlesnakes and coyotes, and they come out to be a absolutely terrifying enemy. So yeah, super fun times. Now, I would, prioritize probably um, staying on top of uh, you know avoiding strong enemies to begin this game kind of like I just did because there's some fights right now you're just simply not going to be able to win but by level 10 or so you will be so that's kind of the thought process with all of that and I can actually go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll just wait to take that book uh, there are going to be there are going to be enemies over here. Uh, we can just keep running past them, to be honest with you. There's a downed bomber right here. And a lot of times there's scorpions and stuff, but I'm not even going to engage a lot of these people in fights. These scorpions we can outrun as well. So that's good stuff. But once they grow up, no bueno. That's when things are going to become a little rough. Okay. And if you really, 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 really might actually do that this episode, I might show y'all how to get to uh, Novak pretty early on. And by doing that, you'll find some of the most powerful weapons in the game. Um, the MF Hyperbreeder Alpha and that gun. Uh, those are some of the best weapons early game. So if um, if I don't do it in this uh, episode, watch for next episode because I'll definitely be getting that done eventually. Don't go over there. There's some DLC stuff. Um, and yeah, other than that, we should have a pretty straight shot up there um, to where we're going. Up here, there'll be some big horners most likely and Jackal Gang or Viper Gang. I can't remember what gang is up here, but... They, uh, they just have grenade launchers and stuff. It's really not that big of a deal, but they can be dangerous. The grenade launchers are what you want to look out for. Um, so I say it's not a big deal. They can kill you pretty pretty quickly with, with those. Um, and people were talking about how their Fallout New Vegas games crash a lot. I've actually found that this game crashes a significant amount less than 
Fallout 4. So I'm not nearly as worried about this one, about this go around as uh, the last one. And the reason that I'm doing this, I'm not really, I wouldn't consider this min-maxing what I'm doing. I'm preparing because I kind of need all the skill points I can for this build. If I were to be min-maxing, uh, which min-maxing would be like, uh, I guess it is min-maxing for just survival. That's really the survival skill. That's really all I'm doing. But it's not too big of a deal. Okay, so this is the Caesars Legion uh, safe house. This is the location of the Lucky Shades, which will boost your luck by one. We don't have the key yet. So basically what you're going to want to do, the easiest way to do that, this is another tip. It'll be down in the description. Okay, wow. I did not realize I was this far over this way. Okay, so you want to avoid that area. That's a really dangerous ghoul area. And ghouls aggro on you from pretty far away. So yeah, we're actually going to be going for that building over there. I don't know what enemy is. Okay, it's a big horner. Big horners are pretty docile. They're kind of like scavengers in Fallout 4. As long as you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. And it's a pretty fair, safe rule of thumb, I'd say. So over there, towards that little pillar, is where you'll find... Uh, Close to Novak, at least. So, there are some dangerous enemies over here, but if you follow this path, you'll be pretty safe. I would avoid that town. I would avoid that. I would avoid over there. And other than that, we should be A-OK. -okay. So, I think I'm just going to avoid going to Novak now. If you want to go, go, go to Novak, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to go straight that way. And go towards those towers over there. And you'll likely find it pretty quickly. So, I like how it said it doesn't crash and then it goes off and crashes. That's unbelievable. Wow. So, anyways, so I'm going to go back to this location. You're, uh, the, the last thing I was going to do is I was going to show you um, inside this barn right here is where you'll get the next Wasteland Survival Guide. And that is going to be... Pretty much all you're going to need for the beginning game and then you can fast travel back to good springs and from there you should be um a-okay good to go so this is like one of the first times this game's ever crashed for me so i like how i said that and then i get this but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff um i should have this you know uh out by about the seventh so i hope y'all enjoy uh the the video and um, be sure to leave a, a like if you want to see uh, the whole series because uh, I'll, I might just leave the video up um, for people to use or I might make a series out of it depending on how well the video does. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.